I want to ask you about the Olympics. Yeah. Um, are you all concerned what would happen to the city's reputation if somehow this fell apart? I'm concerned about the city's reputation today. I'm not worried about it falling apart. I'm worried about today. I think that uh, there's been a lot of distractions in this Olympic bid, and, and I think the fact that we have to get it back on track. And as I always said, if, it doesn't matter if we don't get the bid at the end of the day. Uh, you lose in a, a, a square fight. That's okay. I think the fact that uh, we, we, we're going to launch the Office of Accountability is going to be a big step and be able to get, fi get facts and figures out there using metrics and, and trying to get the information. We will put the information that we find out so people understand what it's all about. And, and I think a, a lot was learned over the last three or four weeks with the, you know, the joiner, start with the joiner agreement and, and then and, and the disclosure of the salaries and then um, the, the ballot question. I think now the fact that all of those issues are behind us, now we move forward about talking about what an Olympic bid actually means. How important is John Fish to the process? And if he were to step aside, would that deal a blow to the bid, do you think? I, I think it, would, it wouldn't, wouldn't deal a blow. It would hurt a bit, I think, but I don't think it would deal a blow. But I, John Fish has been a very important piece of this up to this point. You know, I, I think there's a lot of, uh, in some cases, undue criticism of, of him, uh, what he's done. You know, he's put uh, a lot of effort and his own personal money in, into this so far to be kind of moving moving it forward. I think it's an opportunity now. I wouldn't say necessarily push him aside, but I think it's time now to grow as, as, a, as a unit uh, with 2024 and the USOC. Mm -hmm. what, do you, what do you think his role should be then going forward? No, I think he should be an ambassador. I think he should be involved in this. I mean, there's no question about it. I don't. I think that you know, John. John had had was one of the first people I believe that had the vision to do this. And, and you know, what what was accomplished in a very short period of time by winning, you know, up against a very competitive bid against San Francisco and Los Angeles and Washington D.C. When you think about that, people people at the USOC level look to Boston as Olympic City, which means that we have the ability to not just carry off the Olympics, but we're a special city. Mm -hmm. And on the accountability office, what exact function will that serve? What will it do? It's really going to be, be looking over the documents that are, going, that are going to be filed by eventually by the United States Olympic Committee, uh, looking at the, getting out key metrics, looking at the, the processes of where, where, we, where these uh, venues are going to happen and, and be held, and really kind of dive into the numbers and look at number crunching and making sure that everything adds up. Uh, similar to what the Speaker did uh, and the Senate President mm -hmm. the Governor mm -hmm. with, the, with the outside interest actually looking at the feasibility of the Olympics, this is more more working to see uh, how, how does this all work out, how does it affect the bottom line, making sure there's a transparent process and making sure that the voters and the, and the people of Boston truly feel comfortable when I say there's no public money, that we have the backup that there's no public money going this bit.